wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. Thank you, Heavenly Father God, this morning for another opportunity to come and worship you, Lord, to, for another opportunity to come before you and just say thank you. Thank you for giving us the same speech. Thank you for giving us the like-mindedness. Thank you for giving us the will not to do what we like, but to do what you like. Lord, we surrender all to you right now as we wake up in our mind, as we get up in our thinking, and as we move in our purpose, not by power, not by might, but by the divine spirit. of We come to you right now and say thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity and thank you for the love that you've shared with each and every one of us. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify you. And in Jesus name, we pray and all in agreement said, amen. Well, wait, uh, good morning, family. Know that you are loved, honored and appreciated. Um, we just want to welcome some more people in over here on Facebook. Thank Good morning, Periscope. God bless you guys. We're, 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 we're happy to have each and every one of you join us this morning. Uh, as we talk about, have you ever asked yourself the question, which I was challenged with, is, is my walk worthy? Am I, am I doing anything out of context with God that, that somehow I may be grieving the spirit? Am, am I the reason why things are not working in my life? Am I the reason that, that I'm not getting to the point that, that God has even said I should be. Am, am I really am, am I really holding myself totally accountable to not doing my own will, but doing the will of God? I had to ask myself that question because a lot of times we get caught up in things, people, places, and things that will drive us crazy. And before you know it, you have lost your mind. And the purpose for us doing what we do is just to be able to give God the best that we can. But how many times is it people that we allow to, to just rough our feathers and to take us out of context and to make us act ungodly? I have to repent. I have to, I've been repenting and crying out all night long because I let someone draw me out of the character to say, well, let's pray. Instead of being attacked and then attacking back, do we are we walking worthy to to not have to keep going before the Lord and saying, forgive me? Are we really walking worthy that we don't let the sun go down with anger in our hearts? I'm so glad that God saved me. I'm so glad that God gave me an opportunity to say, forgive me, Lord. For I am a wretched sinner and, I, and I'm not perfect, but I, but forgive me of anything that is not in your will. We're going to be uh, uh, traveling this week, Wednesday and Friday, through Ephesians. We're going to start in, in chapter 6 this morning. Or, no, 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 no. We're going, to, we're going to start in chapter 4 this morning. Then we're going to bounce over to chapter 6. So, you get your Bibles ready with me this morning. Go to Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 25. Now, remember when we were talking about last week, we were talking about having the same speech saying the same thing, being about the same God, having the same faithfulness, having the same willingness to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Remember, it was about us being together. Well, we also have to be together on, 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 on watching and praying for one another that when one doesn't fall when he's left to himself, that one doesn't fall when he may not have the support that he needs on the day that he needs the support. First, uh, chapter 25 in, ch in, in chapter 4 of Ephesians. It says, therefore, put away lying, putting away lying. That means you're putting it away. Putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor. Wait, let each, of, each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. See, it's nothing wrong with being angry. Someone said, why are you angry? Well, if you turn anger into a uh, sin, then you're on a different page. But it says anger and do not sin. So you know to hold yourself accountable, not to the man's way. Because when man gets anger, angry, man wants to be anger against man. 
But we have to know that it says, therefore, putting away lying, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25, therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor. For we are for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good. See, each and every one of us must go to the level of truth. Oh yes, truth hurts, but the truth will set you free. But we must all face the truth. We all have to take a look in the mirror. We, we all have to allow God to speak and we must listen to the truth. The truth is, is that I put away my lying. That's the truth. The truth is, is that I'm no good without Jesus. That's the truth. I, I, I can't make it without Jesus. And guess what? I need you just like you need me. To walk in truth. It's time to face the truth. <laughs> My God. This is what this week is about. Remember last week was faithfulness. Well this week is truthfulness. Are we being truthful? And do we have a truthful walk? Have we really, 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 watch this. Been set free from the old. From the captivity. Have we really went to another level that, that God is saying, oh look at my child. Look at my child grow. Look at my child elevate. Look at my child reach to the mark of the high calling. Look at my child. I see my child being truthful. My God. See, it says put away lying. Not to do it. It says putting away. See, I like that ing at the end of pudding. Because that means you got to keep putting in away. Every time a lie comes up in your spirit, you must tell the truth. My God. Putting away lying. Let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. I love you like Jesus, my God. I want the best for you. I'm telling you the truth. I know God, you are God's greatest miracle. That is the truth. But let's, guess what? I got to speak the truth to myself also. I have to be willing to look at myself in the face and say, be truthful. That now you are putting away your lying. Mm. Put it away. Come on, put it away this morning. You may say that's a little thing. You, you, you may say that's just a small little white. No, no. Putting away lying. Put it away. Go ahead. And let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor. Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me speak some more truth to you today. I am living proof that Jesus Christ is Lord. See, that's living proof. That is truth. And now truth can set me free, my God. But you must put away lying and speak the truth. Not just to the wall. Speak the truth to your neighbor. Who's your neighbor? Yourself. Remember, you love your neighbor as you love yourself. Before I can tell you the truth, I got to tell myself the truth. And I have to accept the truth. That I am a wretched sinner. I'm no good. But with Christ, I am a brand new creation. That's the truth. With him, I stay new. With him, I'm old. I'm not putting away anything. I'm putting on. <laughs> My God. Putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Truthfulness is another form of obedience. When we go to chapter 6 here, watch this, how, how we flip it. And watch how everybody always just thinks of chapter 6 as we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But before you can ever, watch, stop wrestling, you have to know obedience. Obedience, my friend, is truthfulness. Obedience, family, is being, watch this, is willing to stand against the false. And the only thing that can be false is what you let in. The only thing that can be deceptive is what you let come around. The only thing that can be, watch this, not of God is what you put your attention to. My God. But, it, but, but even in this, watch what the first, in, in learning, how to stay truthful. Watch this. We're talking about being truthful this week. Put away lying and tell the truth to your neighbor. High five. Bam. But go over to verse one in chapter six. What are you as well as I? I am a child of God. My God. Look, it says right here. Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor. Watch this. 
honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with you and you may live a live long on the earth. And you fathers do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and abomination of the Lord. Be obedient. See, we got to obey something. You're going to always obey somebody. I don't care how big, how, how, how large, how blowed up you get. You will always have to obey somebody. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I don't care if you own your own business. You're going to obey somebody because you're going to obey that company that you need those supplies so you can get what it takes to stay in business. See, see, you're going to obey somebody because don't you know you can't stay in business if you don't have a happy customer. And the only way that you can have a happy customer is you have to obey. Ooh, the rules you have to obey that 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 you your servant you have to obey that I need that customer to stay alive. An unhappy customer will kill and destroy your whole vision. My God! But we have to understand you ain't nothing just like I'm not. I am a child of God. That's what I'm living proof. I'm a child of God, and Jesus Christ is Lord. But I have to obey. Watch this. Obey your parents in the Lord. Look at what he said. Then he talked about father and mother later. Obey your parents in the Lord. My God. See, we need to obey. Let me tell you, I need to obey God. You need to obey God. We need to know that if you obey, you will, watch this, be able to put on. You will be able to go to the next level. When you obey, because see, most of us, when he talks about later on as we get ready to get to, some of the things that are required of us, is it, all it takes is obedience. No, forget your sacrifice. That's for another, for another offering. Obedience is what God is calling from us, that we obey his commandments. Not just one, not just two, but every commandment. My God, don't you know that the more you obey, the more favor he sees on you, not to give you money and, 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 and riches, but to give you favor. See, favor is something that I need because favor will now reproduce itself and show it to you. See, favor is something I can't hold on to. Favor is something that is meant to be shared. That's why we all need to speak the truth, that I favor you. I favor you in God. Oh, my God. And I give you favor. If I have anything extra, I have anything over, I have whatever, if I, I'm at the point I can make it right now with what I have. I give it freely because I want to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. Watch this. By our service, be obedient to those who are masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in sincerity of heart as to Christ. Not with every service, with I serve, not with I serve, excuse me, as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ. You got to obey him. My God, watch this, watch this. Bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Now, remember, we've already acknowledged, we, if you haven't been there, and you, the heart is not here. The heart is in your mind. That we now serve him, my God, with obedience. See, obedience, you go, you go sacrifice. See, even to get over here onto this other side. You have to know that when you become a child of God, you've already paid the sacrifice. Now it's time to walk in obedience. And obedience is what we're going to do. Tell the truth. That's the name of this, this series this week. Is that you must start to tell yourself the truth. Oh yeah, it hurts. But the truth will set you free. Watch this. Doing the will of God from the heart. With goodwill doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord. Oh my God. Does anybody get this? That when you obey God, he will. I know it's one person out there rolling around somewhere acting crazy because the Lord just hit you with that. And he will give you what you need when you obey him. God, watch, 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 watch. And not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord. Whatever is a slave, wait, whatever, whether he is a slave or free. And you masters, do the same things to them. Give up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven and there is no partiality with him. My God. See, when he comes, yes. You got to already be ready. See, see, I'm learning to walk in the coming now. 
and knowing that God has already favored me because I'm going to obey him. I'm going to repent. I'm going to ask for forgiveness and I'm going to walk righteous. Not by my own ways because I act a fool. Oh my God. I, if I get in me, I will act a... See, this is telling the truth. If I get in me, I will act a fool. Y'all be like, that ain't Pastor E. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. I don't know him. That's not the Pastor E I know. Because let me tell you, when I get in me, I will act a plum fool. Y'all be like, oh no, turn off this broadcast. Don't watch him no more. Don't listen to him no more because that boy acted a fool. It was nothing but him. He was, he was now lying. He, he, he now let lying. Remember we started out putting away lying. Let each one of you tell the truth to your neighbor. You better tell yourself this morning, I act a fool too. I didn't want to tell nobody else, but don't get me there. No, I'm not going there. See, because that's obedience. That's obedience to, oh my God, you preaching now to walk in the spirit. And, and, and watch this, and resist the flesh. My God. The flesh will lead you to the flesh. The spirit will lead you to the spirit. There's no middle ground. You cannot stand in the middle and say you are receiving from God unless you take the all walk or the no walk. My God. And tell the truth. Watch this. Verse, uh, verse 10. Oh, my God. Because see, now you got to get ready to go to work. When you learn how to be obedient and stop lying and tell the truth. And you really practice this truth thing. Let me tell you now, you better practice truth every day. You better make truth a part of your, of, of, of your of menu. You better make truth a part of your diet. And you better put lying away, my God. That now, watch this. You can finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Oh, finally. Now let me, I know some of my covenant partners out there know this. But do you know that that word final is not the end? Finally, my brother, it means I got it. Come on, reach. Get, oh, I find, oh, I got it. Revelation, that's when the finally turns into now. Oh, my God. Finally, I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Then I got to put on. See, remember this jacket this morning? This vest? I had to put this vest on this morning. I had to put this jacket on this morning. It wasn't just like, oh, you get your dress. Bam. Finally, I, oh, I got it. Come on, reach up. Somebody say, finally, I got it. Reach up there and get it. Then I'm going to be obedient. And in everything, right when, right now, I'm going to be obedient because God got me. For every good thing I do, the Lord will do back to me. Here, take it, y'all. Y'all can have it all. <laughs> My God, you can have to Come take it. Here, here, here. Here, you can have it. You have to take it freely because whatever you do, slave or free, he will do back to you. And I'm not looking for anything from you. No, I'm not. I'm looking at I want it back from the Lord. I need that favor, my God. I need that revelation, my God. I, I, I need that relationship, oh my God. I, I need that spirit. Because I cannot walk by the flesh. I must walk by the spirit. But I have to know that my finally is not my end. My finally is my beginning. Oh, I got it. Some people have listened to me teach, and they've been listening to me teach for years, and, and all of a sudden, they, they be like, oh, finally, I got it. Hey, man, it don't come overnight. You got to wait till your final league comes. And know that final is not in the race. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of your, watch this, of your leap. My mentor calls it a vertical leap. You got to take a leap from facts to faith. You cannot stand in the in, in the realm of, of factual or material. You have to take a leap of faith, my God. You have to go to another level of your faith and finally start the race that God has already finished, my God. That you can now put on the what? Whole armor of God. You see, 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 some of us are just putting on a little piece. Some of us are only utilizing when it gets time. No, no. He says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. See how many times we're reminded to get out of, out of self? See how many times we're reminded to get out of me? <laughs> See how many times I'm reminded that I need him and less of me? Less of me and more of him is what I need. Less of me and more of him is what I desire. Less of me and more of him is what I command of myself. Decrease. That he may increase. Let the lesser things die so the greater things may lead, live. Take a leap of faith 
and go from the earthlies to the heavenlies and know that now you're walking by the spirit now of, of family. You're walking by, not by power and might, but by the spirit of God. And you can put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, he cannot make you do anything. He can only tempt you. He cannot force feed you to do anything. You must tell yourself the truth today. Okay, that's what this is all about this week. Telling the truth. Telling the truth that he can't make me do nothing. He can only tempt me. He can only coerce me. He can only try to draw me, but he cannot. Because I have been given power by God. But not by my, watch this. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I know now that this, this whole armor of God, it has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with, with pins and, and, and material armor. It has everything to do with God. Watch this. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Now, come on, we got to stop right there. For a second. My God, we, this is important. This is, this is good truth right here. The battle is not against the flesh and blood person that you may be encountering. The quicker I, I can, if, if the faster I can re remember that, the faster that I can get my mind. We are now to remember, oh, no, 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 don't go there. Don't go there because the battle is not against that person. That person may be carrying a spirit or you may be carrying a spirit that's bumping heads. And only way you can get rid of that spirit is to put on the whole armor of God that you can stand. And when you stand, we're going to learn, you got to pray. When you stand, you have to go into action. You have to now stand for something. My God, speak the same. Pray the same. Worship the same. Wake up in your mind the same. Get up in your thinking the same. Move in your purpose the same. He's no respecter person. Rich, uh, no respect or person, slave or free, my God, that he will now protect me because I can stand. And I know that I, I just have to, you have to put that on your wall somewhere. It's not the mailman's fault. It's not the doctor's fault. It's not the person's fault. I wrestle not against flesh and blood. Stop right there. Oh, my God. So we want to ramble on and go farther into the teaching. No, we got to stop right there and tell the truth. It's not that person. It's the spirit of that person. And you cannot fight the spirit with flesh. You cannot fight flesh with the I mean, you can fight the flesh, the flesh with spirit. Yes. By praying. And standing against the wiles of the enemy because that's only the enemy wants you to act a fool. I told you earlier, I tell you the truth. I can go there. Oh no, I practice every day not going there because that is not what God would like of me. But guess what? I still have to tell the truth that I'm vulnerable. I still have to tell the truth that I'm a human being. I still, I, oh my God, I can still tell you the truth. I ain't gonna let you just do me any kind of way. My God, that's the truth. My God. But see, I have to know better than I wrestle, I wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not the person. I got to get on my knees. Oh, no, no. Not in front of the person because you might kick, get kicked in the mouth. You better get in your closet and you better go into a spiritual battlefield and you better stand against all the wiles of the enemy because they're trying to come against your mind. They're trying to make you think you crazy, trying to make you do some crazy, trying to make you show crazy. Crazy don't live here no more. Oh, no, 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 no. You was that, oh, you was that person up, up there in the tombs. You was that one that shackled and chained. You was the one that Jesus came to the shore and set you free, my God. See, you are free now to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We're going to stop right there today. We're going we gonna, to we gonna finish up on that one on Friday. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We start on time. We're going to end on time. We're going to make sure that we don't hold you too long. But let me tell you right now, family, you have to know that this flesh thing, no matter what it is, is not where God is trying to get you to elevate. God is not trying to see you make up no more bad ground. God has our back. Yes, he does. But don't you know, God gets sick and tired of us being sick and tired. 
And, and believe me, until we get it right, he still is there. He's still, he's still watching. But until you get it right up here in your mind. And know that we got to fight this battle a whole different way. War, oh, different war room structure. Different battlefield. We're teaching at Friday Night Live. The battlefield is in your mind. Oh yeah, there's a conscious and there's a subconscious mind. And they are battling with each other. Who's in control? Who's running the show? Who's calling the shots? My God. See, it's a, it's a battle in my mind telling me to do bad. Oh, but it's no longer the bad I do, but it's the good that lives in me as Christ Jesus. See, that's the battle that has to be won, and that's the truth that must be told. He's no respecter of person. He wants the same truth for you as, as much as he wants the truth for me. And he wants us to tell the truth together. Remember chapter 4, verse 25. It says, putting away lying. Therefore, putting away lying. Let each one of you, my God, tell the truth to his neighbors. I'm telling you the truth this morning that God loves you. I'm telling you this morning the truth that God cares for you. I'm telling you the truth this morning that God has called you according to a purpose. And that purpose is to obey him. And obey him right now. It doesn't take forever. You may be sitting out there saying, man, I, God, is that, boy, that, that hit right on the nail head. I, I, I finally got it. Guess what? That's, that's, where, where, that's where I had to get to. That finally, that I wasn't ending and I wasn't just waiting on the Lord. And I wasn't just holding on to his unchanging hands. I was finally in the right position. Oh, to, he says, wait on the Lord and be of what? Good courage. No. He says, no, that he loves us. I know it. That's the truth. And I want you to know the truth too, that he loves you just as much. He loved you more than he loved me. Now, me and his love relationship has nothing to do with your love relationship. It doesn't. And I want to share with you this morning that, that, that as you develop that love relationship of obedience. Oh, yeah, yeah, last week it was faithfulness. But you had to know what faith was. Today, you got to know what truth is before you can be truthful. My God. See, truthful is a lifestyle. Truth is something you got to, you, you have, truth is something that you have to get in. The scripture that I was reading from today was Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. And then we went over to Ephesians chapter 6, 1 through, and I believe we stopped at, uh, we stopped at verse 12. No, 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 no. Verse 11. We stopped at verse 11. And we're going to continue this on Friday uh, uh, at the same time, 9 a.m., 11 a.m. and 12 noon on the East Coast. But we're going to say that, you know, it's about us being truthful. This is telling the truth, the truth that will hurt, but the truth that will set you free. My God, I, I, I just feel the anointing of God over this broadcast this morning. I know that people are, are being healed right now just because of our faith to be obedient. I, I can feel people are coming into the truthfulness of God right now by his spirit, walking not by sight, but by faith, taking a leap of faith. Oh, my God. And saying, finally. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because I know I got to be, I got to obey. And I'm going to obey and I'm going to obey good. I'm going to become a good, o obedient servant. That now, guess what? Remember, go back up a little bit farther and, and read that six, first 11 verses. And see, as you sow, God is going to put back in poor back in you. And you can't be God's given. Tell you right now, you cannot be God's given. No matter how you try. That was a song, wasn't it? Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father God, we thank you this morning. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to wake up in our minds, to get up in our thinking, and to move in our purpose. What is our purpose? To go ye therefore and make disciples in all the nations. So we thank you, Heavenly Father God, that, 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 that you've given us the strength to climb. We thank you, Heavenly Father God. Don't move our mountains. Give us the strength to climb. So on the top of that mountain, we've conquered a mountain. We just not moving stuff out the way for other things. Lord, teach us, give us the strength to climb so we can conquer the mountain. Oh, because then we know it's another mountain coming. We praise you today, Lord. We glorify you today. We magnify you today. And Lord, we lift you up for you are worthy of our praise. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. 
Let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. We open up the portion room right now. I, I give freely into the portion room. Those that don't know what, what I'm talking about, there's a place here at the Now Network, P2B Ministries, that we have designated a place to sow God, into God. Love, favor, forgiveness. Love, favor, for, unforgiveness. We want to talk about, we want to sow into the, 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 the portion room that God can freely just bless you this morning if you're in need. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for receiving Anything I have that you were, that were planning on blessing me for being obedient, I sow into the portion room right now. I, I, oh, I thank you. Oh, pull, I, oh, finally, we're pulling those million minds back. Are you pull, are you still pulling the million minds in? Oh, my God, don't forget. Pull in the minds. Oh, California, come on in. That's, I'm, that's where I'm at. Oh, I'll pull with you in your state. I'll be in agreement, but I'm here in California. I got some, I got some minds to pull right here. Come on, minds. Come back to Christ. Come back to believing. Come back to serving. Come back to Jesus right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for receiving our offering this morning, Lord Jesus. We thank you for healing the people that, Lord, you have already healed. We thank you for just receiving this offering. Anything that was not pleasing in your sight, remove it right now. Because we've already sacrificed this offering this morning straight to you. And in Jesus' name we pray. And all in agreement said, Amen. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might.